show you the guide on how to run your guide uh, node and have reward number one you need some three step once you have already registered and then you connect your wallet okay you connect your use metamask let's use your let's use once you log into your metamask okay you connect to it you confirm it so please kindly follow this step so you can able to uh, able to keep on running this both on your laptop or your PC or your mobile phone so finally after you've already logged in your account you click on this uh, start okay once you click on this start you will have this point the point here will be zero okay you know this is what is meant it is mandatory to use a VPS to run this guy node so now all you need now is three step number one create your account connect your wallet then you need a VPS okay there is a way you can buy this VPS you select this $12 uh, uh, VPS okay this is for a month you can select a 12 month so once you click on a uh, click on it then you select three months if, if you can be able to be capable of that but if you don't want that you can use a one month uh, fee once you are done with that then all you need to do now is go scroll down you scroll down you write the password you prefer okay meaning that the password that you prefer so now i'm going to show you some step on how you can able to like go about this project once you have already entered your uh password once you enter your password then you need a uh, mastercard to pay now there is another easy way for that to get your mastercard and pay for this uh, uh vps hosting all you need to do is go to your hub okay you go to your hub where you I, i've already recommend you guys a uh a wallet you can use app where you can able to get a mastercard a digital virtual card all you need to do now is go to you download uh read pay okay once you download read pay okay you're going to have a uh you can deposit with crypto there you click on deposit and then you select usdt and then you deposit with uh you deposit with uh per 20 okay once you are done and then you make the deposit into your ready pay account you can able to pay you can able to pay here you all you need to do is copy your card uh, uh, your card number your expiring dates once you're done you make a payment okay they're going to deduct from the from uh, your account here next after you are done paying this okay the next step is that you going to they're going to give you some details on how you're going to uh, your API address so all you need now is your uh, API address from Contobo okay all you need is API from them and the password you set. now all you need to do now is the next step let me show you the next step once after you've already registered okay after you've already registered <clears throat> You're able to get a message uh, from your email that shows your API. Okay. Now, after you've already get this standard uh, API, this API here. Once you've already get it, the next step you're going to do is download a terminal. So I recommend you to download. There is a link below which is going to give you the terminal. That is Tamos. Okay. Once you download this Tamos, okay, you're going to have this new page in front of you. So now this news page is going to show you on where you're going to enter the address. As you can see now, it say create a host here. Depend on how it displays on your on your on your uh, device. So now once you click on this create host, okay, then you go to your <clears throat> you go to your uh, to the message they sent to you now to the email they sent to you now, and then you copy this, okay copy this uh, API once you copy this API you paste it here we've already said API or host name okay 
once you paste it here you paste the api here so let me think uh, to me okay so once you paste the api here you click on create host once you click host then they will ask you for the creditor uh username meaning uh the uh, the username you create here uh this this is your username uh roots why your password you that one is known to you so now you click on uh you click on this you write your name root and then you write your password you write your password So after you write your password right now, all you need to do now is click on connect. Once you click on connect, it will be running. You wait for it to be running. So here is your API has been running on your Tamos uh, terminal. The next step for you to do now to run this uh, to run this node where you can able to get your ID and stuff. All you need to do now is go to your Gal account back. Once you go back to this account. Okay, then uh, you will go to uh, node. This is the node. So once you get to this node, uh, you can come here. How to do this uh, guide? I've already make a. How to click on this install node? Once you click on this install node, they are going to give you some command here. The command is so very simple. All you need to do is copy all these uh, command. Let's run it together and copy it. This is the first step you're going to do. You copy it. Once you copy it, then you go to your Tamos. Once you go to your Tamos, then you paste this command here. Once you paste this command, you run it. So once you run it now, you're going to wait for all this, uh, all this to display on your on your on your laptop. You once you wait for it to keep on running, then all you need to do is let's go for it now. Let's wait for it to load you get this uh, command let me drag it down so you guys can see it clearly so once you get this uh, uh, this command now all you need to do is copy this as been shown in this guide once you have this you are going to run it again uh, let's do it together again so now we're gonna copy this the source once you copy the source then you're going to run it again going to run it again paste it run it then the next step you click on this initiate then you copy this uh, the second step which is initiate you can find it also here in the page okay you find it here also you can copy it uh, once you copy then you click on here to run it again paste it here click on run it so once you run it it will be downloading some file for you so all this file will contains uh your details your uh your api address your all what you need for your node to get started so now you wait for it to load let's hold on for a, a little minute so as you can see uh, i will send also the guide below so that you guys can also follow you just pay attention to this video on how to run this node so that you, you can increase your points and be able to position yourself for this test day. so now we need to go back to our we need to go back now okay we are it's remaining some few minutes to load so wait for it and then let's see how we get to go so now let's go uh, don't forget you go back to your account check your account if your account is all well set so now we're going to check what we are running so we're going to check what we are running. So now let's see it's download. So you wait for it. So everything is getting set. So So we want to wait for it to run. So also this method you're going to apply to uh, to any node that support VPS, any node that support a VPS. So this is the same guide 
you're going to follow uh, with it. So now uh, everything is, we need to click on to start it. We need to start our node. You have to copy this fourth step. You copy this. Okay. Then you go back to the terminal and then you paste it. Then you click on run. Once you click on run, it's going to generate your private key. <clears throat> so it's going to generate your address for you. So let's wait for you to generate some of our details. So uh, running this page, okay. Uh, this shows this sign, okay, shows that your node has been running fine. So now all you need now is to go back to your profile. You go back to your profile here. So once you get to your profile, then you click on here. Then you go to the node here. So once you click on this node, you see connect new node. Once you click on this connect new node, uh, once you see this connect new node, then all you need now is to paste this, uh, your uh, ID, your node ID and your ID device. All you need to do to get this is go back to the terminal and then you scroll down, you scroll, you find your address here. Okay, yeah. So this is your address, you copy it, that is, is attached to your, is attached to your, uh, your wallet. Then all you need to do is copy it, go back here, you paste it here. Once you paste it here, then you copy your device ID. All you need to do is go back to the terminal and go back to here to this device. Copy from this device. Make sure you select from the device and then you select it to this place. Once you click on it, you copy and then you go back. You paste it here. You paste the address here, then you click on join. Once you click on join, then you confirm it from your wallet. After you confirm it, good, you are all set. You are running fine. So that's all. That's all to run. Uh, okay, you go to the task page and copy all this stuff. So keep it up.